So the first race of the year is coming up very soon. It's a Super League Arena Games in Montreal, and this is going to be something totally different than what I'm used to, but uh, I've been doing some specific training for it, and it's really, honestly, it's really helped me to get my ass in gear just with my training in general. Uh, I was coming, coming into kind of January 1st, I was pretty out of shape, you know, took December, gained, gained a few pounds, didn't really do any hard training, so... Um, I knew I had a, quite a long way to go from January 1st to the arena games, which is like late-ish February. Um, so it really got me going and got me kind of forced me to really take things seriously. And, and that was kind of one of the main goals for this. Some of the key workouts have been this brick workout, which I, which I did today. And I also did a similar one last week. So, um, this is a workout that is something I would normally never do in February or really I don't do a lot of brick workouts or interval brick workouts in general um, but to prepare for this race for how short it is um, my coach and I decided that it was going to be pretty helpful and I've got I've got the treadmill right there I've got you know the pain cave with the trainer right there it's pretty specific so I can kind of test that out so um, I basically did the same workout two weeks in a row starting off with a 2k bike and then a 500 meter run uh, on the treadmill and then take a break and then a 1k run 4k bike on the second round take a break again and then do the same thing as the first round 2k bike 500 meter run so um this week i also threw in doing a little bit of bands before to get the heart rate up and just simulate the swim a little bit uh, which was surprisingly harder than I thought. I actually managed to, you know, run pretty well both weeks, but the second week you're going to see I, I struggle a little bit with the bike. So it's definitely a bit of an eye opener because I'm going to need to find a way to do a lot better. Um, probably especially on the bike when it comes to the race, but pretty fatigued coming into the workout. So not too concerned about that because as soon as I taper down, I'm definitely going to be feeling a lot better. The arena games happens five weeks out from Oceanside and that kind of just is a great time to do a little bit of a taper and sort of get a bit of a different uh, stimulus and then once I recover from that then I've only got a few weeks into Oceanside and it's kind of really good timing um, but also I really want to see like what can I do at the short course I haven't done anything shorter really than like an Olympic try in the past couple years i did one sprint try in 2020 and other than that the last several years has been mostly long course so any other long course athletes racing next week uh there's this one guy named lionel i don't know if you've heard of him but he's you know he's pretty okay i guess at the long course uh he's not that popular though but anyway he's he's racing and he's pretty 
pretty strong dude. We've raced many times. Last year we raced six times, I think, and I, I think we each, like I think I finished ahead of him three times. He got me three times. Um, so we'll see. I mean, it's definitely not a race that favors either of our strengths, I would say. But being that they made the bike non-drafting on Zwift, uh, that's helping us both for sure. But the swim is gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Cause there is gonna be a deficit. I mean, you've got Henry Schumann on the list, uh, Chase McQueen, these guys, they're gonna be swimming like not much more than two minutes flat for a 200 long course. I would be pretty happy if I'm under 225 without totally blowing myself up. I don't know what kind of shape Lionel's in, but you know, he, he could be similar to me, honestly, right now, or maybe I'm a couple seconds ahead of him. So we're gonna have our work cut out for us uh, after that swim, but I think we're the only two long course guys and and i think super league just wanted to see like you know how how can these long course guys stack up so the finals of the super league arena games is going to be on youtube super league has their own channel i'll put that out on my instagram and it'll be really easy to find um but that's only if you make the final so hopefully i'm on there um there's there's two heats where there's 10 in each heat and then there's 10 total people who make the final so to get out of your heat, you have to be one of the fastest four in a swim bike run and then another swim bike run cumulative time. Um, so if I'm the fastest four there or if I'm one of the next fastest two between the two heats, I'll make it to the final. Um, and then the final is a little bit different. It's harder. It's a swim bike run and then a run bike swim and then you add the cumulative times for everyone and you do a staggered start and whoever finishes the last round, which is a swim bike run, is the winner. So it's really, a really brutally hard race. And it's all in the same day. So if you make the final, you're doing five of these races um, with very little rest in between. So it's, it's gonna be crazy. I just wanna go give it the best I have. If I don't even make it out of the heats, so be it, no big deal. Like I, I got the training, I got the experience and you know, focus for the rest of the season. I'll be sharing as much as I can about the Super League trip, I'm I'm gonna have my sister with me. She'll be getting some footage and, and we'll be putting up a couple YouTube videos about the Super League and, and I'll put updates on my Instagram. I'm gonna be putting a little bit more into my YouTube. I really wanna show, you know, what I do for training and what, what the lifestyle's like and, um, you know, what I do that's different than other people, um, whether that's good or bad. And then, you know just let people see a little bit more about me so hopefully i've said this many times but i'm going to get a little bit more consistent with uh with putting youtube up and and that's going to be a good spot to follow me but you've always got instagram i have a TikTok now so i think that means i'm cool now um i think i have about three posts on there so you can go check that out too that's the same as my instagram jackson laundry dry remember to like and subscribe like i said i am going to be bringing out more videos you don't want to miss it and thanks for watching